Hey, smokers. James Raga1 here. Uh, hey, wait. I don't think I'm that guy. Wrong channel. Uh, anyway, we're going to be putting this SSD into this Mac Mini with a horrible 5400 RPM hard drive in it at the moment. And hopefully, it's going to be installing some of macOS Sonoma onto this. So, let's get into it. All right, well, to start off, we should probably unbox the SSD here. Yeah. Here it is. Uh, gotta remove this uh, tape. Here we are, we got our SSD. It's uh, ready to be put in there. Though, I have to do a ton of disassembly on this thing first. Well, if we're gonna wanna disassemble a Mac Mini, we're gonna need our tools first. We got a screwdriver, we got two bits, uh, we got an iPad for a, a iFixit guide. <laughs> so, let me pull that up real quick. All right, here we are, let's go into wide angle. We got our uh, iFixit guide here. So, while my MacBook Pro makes the Sonoma installer. Let's get into this. Quite literally, let's get into the, 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 the Mac. Okay, let's go. Alright, so first up, we're not going to need tools for this part, thankfully. Uh, we just flip her over. And flip that. There we go. We got the uh, cover off. This thing's remarkably clean inside. Okay, we're going to want to remove this here uh, fan first off. It's my, uh... okay, it looks like my bit's too big, hold on. All right, I believe I found the right Torx T6 bit, so. Let's get this fan out. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll just put these in the, uh, yeah, I'll put those in the, uh, wireless cover. It's a good tray for that. Thanks, Apple. <laughs> oh. And... Because why not Apple use two different sizes of Torx T6 on here? So I have to find another bit. After a lot of searching, I found the other right Torx T6 size. So, I can remove this screw too. Why couldn't they have used Phillips? That would have been so much easier. Be careful, you don't want to break that. So, I like to get a guitar pick and I believe this is one of those connectors that you maybe I should read the iFixit guide. There we go, and the fan's out. All right, and then there's this little guy here, which thankfully is that same size. Oh, I believe that just went missing. Right, I have a... Uh... 
this always happens. There you go. Now it's on to these larger Torx T6, which I thought were the only ones that were on the board. These guys are fat. All right. Man, those are crunchy. You hearing the snapping noises this thing's making? Huh. Now you're gonna switch out from Torx T6 to a T8. Uh, thankfully, I actually have this guy. This is much more standard. Definitely apply a little bit of pressure so you don't accidentally strip, uh, strip these, because when you do, uh, it might be over for you. guys hold on good or maybe my case is very slightly damaged cool uh, let, let me remove this off camera that took an insane amount of prying because this was bent a little bit underneath this bigger bit, but she's out now. Okay. Now you just want to wiggle the airport cable loose. Believe that's the end. Yeah, there, now the wireless hockey puck is free. Yeah, it's still got the factory tape on there. That's why. I found that uh, missing, missing screw as well. I think I got that out already. Ah, uh, this one. It's a tiny one. Ah. Slightly other tiny one. Ooh. Okay, get that out. Oh, it's a long boy. All right. <laughs> I'm 
Mac Mini Logic Board Removal Tool. That's goofy. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Don't stick your fingers in there. Maybe don't use metal. Hold on, let me figure out how to get this out. All right, if you just give her a little push here, it'll come out just enough to start getting a handle on it. There you go. All right. Ooh. Hold that a bit. Out a little much. Ooh, that is filthy. Look at that. It never got cleaned. Okay. Got a Torx T6 holding this in place as usual. Don't take this as a tutorial, by the way, because I am not a trained professional in the slightest. Just some guy. And there's just this dumb little piece of tape that you can remove. And boom, you got the cable out. And now you got a hard drive. I'm going to put this over here. And now this filthy cable can be just put onto the SSD. And now I'm going to reassemble all this and we'll get to installing macOS. Finally, after all that pain and somehow ending up with a few extra screws, here we are. Hopefully everything should work. Still getting the installer right now, but I can test it with my external hard drive. So let's see if it, see if it boots. All right, now we're gonna try and boot this because the stick actually was made in the time that I had to troubleshoot because I, I, I guess I uh, forgot to plug in the uh, power cable, like the physical board power cable. So, hey, a chime, that's good, that's good. It chimed, that means it's getting power. And that means it isn't dead. We get a an option menu. Hey, look at that EFI boot. Yeah, install macOS Sonoma, please. Yes, she boots. 
So then I guess it's time to format the hard drive and install Mac OS. So I'll get to that. Well, hey, look at that. We are in the installer environment. So, oh, well, you can just go to disk utility now. Look at that, WD Blue, it's visible. So let's erase it. Let's uh, name her Macintosh SSD. SSD, APFS, GUID partition map, yep. Race process complete, good. We now have our SSD, so hopefully we can install Mac OS Sonoma. Uh, I said, ah, yeah, here we go. Ooh, I'm seeing a little bit of a graphical issue there oh yeah it's crunchy it's having to think turn wi-fi off wi-fi on okay looking for networks yeah okay i'll be i'll be back when this uh oh. Never mind. Yes, install on Mac OS in Macintosh SSD. All right, I'll be back when this finishes installing. Here's a quick update. We are in phase two of the installer where it uh, looks like an update. Uh, gives you the uh, install time remaining. If it'll, die, if it'll focus, yeah. Uh, I'll update you when I get into the OB. Hey, look at that. We are in the OBE. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alright. Data and privacy. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, no. Okay, let me sign in with my Apple ID and whatnot. Your new Mac. Right, looks like it's... Uh, it's doing it. Hey! Oh, oh, I don't... I don't think we got graphics drivers. Yeah, oh, 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 never mind. Never mind, that works fine. Oh, 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 yeah, actually, yeah, we, we do have graphics drivers. Okay, let's set up my keyboard. Well, look at that. We have graphics drivers, and everything appears to be working. I'm building and installing OpenCore for uh, my machine, uh, so I can put it on the SSD, and this should be a now fully working version of macOS Sonoma. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and...